everyone, this is Monkey. I have got me a new project to do. And so I'm going to show you what you're going to need to do this project. Okay. Now, I went to Dollar Tree and I got me a couple of these. Now, this one is in English. I bought two of them and thought they all had English on it. But the other one doesn't, so it has Spanish. So um, I'm going to use this one, and I'm going to paint it white. We're going to use this. I had some leftover from another project, so I'm going to paint this white. And we are going to use this black paint right here. You're going to need some acrylic paint, if you like. I'm trying to show you. It's a little dark. And there you go. And I got this at Dollar General because uh, Dollar Tree didn't have it, so I got that there. And I have some brushes you're going to need. I'm going to use a small one. And then I bought a, me a chess game. And what we're going to use is the legs from the chess game. I got this at Dollar Tree for a dollar. And I'm going to use these for legs for the bottom of the container. So, what I'm going to first do, I'm going to paint this all white. And I'm going to let it dry and then we will work on the legs and we will go from there. Okay, so I will be back as soon as I can and also I forgot to tell you, you want your E6000 e um, glue for the legs so you might want that. Anyways, I will return as soon as I get my container painted white. Okay, everybody, I am back. I have painted it and I did two coats. I'm going to show you right now what I've done here. Okay. So I painted it inside and out. I did two coats on both and it's nice and dry. So now what I'm going to do, hopefully, I got this black acrylic paint and what I'm going to do, I am going to paint the rim on the top and the bottom and I'm going to do the flowers and the garden name. If you can see that, hopefully you can. Yeah, see it. So I'm going to paint it all in black. It may take me a little bit because I've got to do the other side too. And hopefully it's going to turn out the way I want it to. <laughs> With this hand. So hopefully we'll do this. I will let you watch me for a few minutes and then and then I'll, I'll disappear for a little bit and <laughs> finish it all up. So you got an idea anyways. Black, black, black. So I put this down on the table so I don't um, have any problems. So here we go. I think I'll do the rim first because it's the easiest. Or we can try. Let's see if I can, how well this is going to look. Ugh. I don't know. To really do it smooth. Yeah, right. So mm. I don't know. <laughs> Looks a little rough, doesn't it? Yeah, we'll try and see here. I don't want to use too much. have to go real slow. I'll probably do a couple of coats maybe. Uh, I don't know. And hopefully it'll look okay once I finish. Yeah. So we'll try and hopefully it'll work out the way I want it to. <laughs> 
Sometimes my crafts do not work out the way I want them to. But I have to kind of just be very careful and kind of brush along it. It's light. I'm not a professional when it comes to this kind of thing. This is really my first time doing the lettering. But, and I'm hoping it'll work. I think it'll take a little bit. You know, you dry it and let it dry and um, then put a second coat on it. it because you can see the white, but I think it'll work out okay, hopefully. Can't do it real fast. You have to kind of just take your time. Take a break. Maybe in between. Maybe it should just kind of just keep it more steady. Yeah, maybe that'll work better. There we go. That's a little bit better. And so, okay, went overboard on that a little bit, but not too bad. Hopefully you can see me and what I'm doing. Make sure you don't get it all over you because you don't want it to get on the white. a little bit more steadier. So I'm going to get a napkin here and kind of straighten that up before it gets dry. If I can. I don't know. I don't want to ruin it either. Let's so say you'll have to take some time to do this and um, you know it's not perfect but you know it doesn't have to be just kind of push it on make it as nice as possible they always make life easier when others do it so let's see if I can do this one a little bit better I think the more you try, the better you get. I don't know. Hmm. You can still see the white, so you probably want to do it twice, but I'm going to just do the top part. I mean, the best you can. There, smooth it out a little bit more instead of Russian. All right. Easier said than than done. But not too too bad. Uh, I don't know. Let's see if I can. Always paint over it and just leave it. Uh. These are cute little baskets. You can use them for anything really if you want. Um, put anything you have in it. I'm trying to uh, I don't have the best steady hand in the world. Or the eyes. It's probably more like it. But 
it's not too bad. I mean, it's art, right? If you're really good at this, you can make it look really nice. Um, hopefully, you can kind of smooth it out a little bit. Hmm. Well, that's kind of the idea there. There you go. Yeah, it looks better in the camera. <laughs> I don't know. So what I'm going to do is finish this all off. Take my time and do what I can on one side. Let's see how it looks. If it doesn't look that great, I may just not use this side. I'm going to put it on my shelf in the bathroom. That's what I'm going to use it for. So I can always just do and leave the other side if I want or whatever. And I'm getting paint all over my hands. Not good. What the heck? So, ugh. Let me wash my hands before I touch this again. How did I do that? So, anyways. <laughs> Don't take me anywhere. Never. Because I will mess myself up. Alrighty. So anyways, you guys got the idea. I will be back in a little bit. I'm going to finish it off the best I can. I like to do the rim around the top and the rim on the bottom. And um, we'll see how it looks. So I will let y'all go for a little while and I will be back. Okay guys, I'm back. Uh, took me a little bit, but I got it all painted. I got it upside down because the rim of it is still wet, so I won't be able to show you right yet. Um, but I um, got this, so we're going to open it up, and this is going to be for the legs. I did get this for a game, um, you know, for a dollar, a dollar tree. So, you know, I'm going to use the legs of it. Um, I mean, the chest. We'll find out the one we need and what's the best. I don't play this game. <laughs> so, anyways, we're going to use the black ones. See here. Probably going to be these ones. I hope I have four of them. And you're going to use it here and one here. that's supposed to be so anyways that's the way it's gonna probably be I'm not sure if I want to do that I might have to paint them because I give you two two or you can buy two of these and use those legs because everything else is rounded so that's not gonna work I wouldn't think so, got lots of these little ones here, but they're not going to work. And I think that will work. So we just kind of do it that way. Two, two and two. Because it is black and white, it'd be alright. So, I'm going to let it dry and um, hopefully that'll work. And we'll let it dry and see how well it goes. I'm not going to put these on yet. It's still too tacky, I think. You think this would stick? 
if I glue these now or should I wait? I mean, it's still a little tacky. I wait. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we'll wait and we'll probably do this tomorrow and um, when I get off work so I can let this dry real good. But that's the way it's going to go. Um, I might paint these. I do have some black paint so I might paint them so they all match. So anyways, that's going to be it for now. Let me see if I can show you what I've done so far. Ta -da! Cute? Huh? What? I can't see. What? I don't know what you're saying. What? These? Yeah, they're supposed to be like that. That's a decoration. He's like, what? What? Anyways, there you go. That's what it's supposed to look like. Kinda. Uh, gotta practice on the letters, but, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, I might have used a smaller brush than what I used. Probably the smaller the better would help. Or you could probably use a Sharpie maybe. Might work better. Um, my first time doing this, so there you go. And we will continue tomorrow and hopefully finish it up. Okay, so for right now, Monkey's going to say she's out. Y'all have a good evening and hopefully we'll get to the end of this and you'll see what I'm going to use it for. Bye y'all. Hey everyone, this is Monkey. It's been a long time. I'm going to finish this project. So where we were, I was painting it and this is what the final product of it being all painted. I did do the black line and I did the letterings as you can see. Um, not perfect. I don't have the most steadiest hand as some people do but it kind of gives a little character to I kind of messed up on this side a little bit but I'm gonna use this side because it's gonna go on my shelf in the bathroom any of you have seen those go up on my videos uh, you can check it out um, so I'm gonna put this on my my shelf so now what I need to do is put the legs on so how are we gonna do that I'm going to show you so here we go there we go so if on my earlier one I said I went to Dollar Tree and I got the chess game and I was going to use these ones for the legs if you can see hopefully you can it's not very bright there we go that's a little bit better so I was going to use these ones but Shea Bear said you could use these ones, which I had the right amount for. So I need four of them, and the other ones only had two. So we're gonna put these on here, and we're just gonna stick them up like this on the sides here in the corners, make them as even as possible, the best you can. And I'm just gonna use the E600, 6000, sorry. Um, glue so hopefully that will be enough and we'll just glue them down and put a little dab of glue here and just glue them in there just like so and just let them dry you could probably put some glue on this outer rim of this too if you want to make sure I was going to use a glue gun, which you could, but I think this would work a little bit better. It's a little sticky. And I'll just do it like that. And there we go. I got a piece here. I'm trying to get off before it dries. Right there. I'll just hold them down for a few seconds and they'll dry. 
I'm going to put this one here and this one over here. And put a little bit in, in there and then a dab on it. I don't think you need a whole lot of this stuff because it goes, it seems to seal pretty good. And it's everywhere, as you can see. And it's on the bottom, so no one's going to see the bottom too much. But you want to make it neat as possible. And we'll put it right here. You can kind of estimate where you want it. And there you go. I'm going to let these dry. And hopefully... Yeah, I think I'm moving them around a little bit, just where I want them. I'm going to make sure they're where I want. And we'll just let them dry for now. And then we'll be back and I'll see the end result. So, stay tuned. Hey guys, Monkey's back. Okay, so what I've done, I put the legs on the bottom of my container, my little bathtub, and as you can. Now, I use this for the legs, E6000, and then I also put, use the glue gun, too, for the outer part. So, there you go. This is your finished project, and you can kind of see the legs underneath. There's a piece of glue there. Um, to, to secure it and you can put what you like in it um, I don't know if I'm going to keep this in there I just wanted to show you what you can do with it um, some people you can put a little plant here and put hand towels in there and also you can put your little containers of uh, cotton balls and swabs and stuff like that on top or you can be creative and do what you want it with it um, and you can um, put, some people have used a uh, PVC pipe and they put it up and put like a little little fountain on it so you kind of like look like a, a bathtub, bathtub. But I didn't want to do that because I thought it would be um, a little uh, in, in the way so I can put whatever I want in there. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to put it on my shelf in the bathroom so you got an idea of how it's going to look in the bathroom. Okay, so here we go. Okay, guys. Um, so now we're in the bathroom, and I put it on the shelf, and I have left it like this. Um, for now, I think this is what I'm going to do. Um, I wanted to get a little plant to put in there. Uh, I just haven't found anything I want I like so I'll just keep looking and this is a little handy um, I couldn't put it here because it is kind of a little bit big to be on the side of the sink if you had a bigger sink you could leave it on the side and just fill it up with hand hand towels or washcloths or something like that so that gives you a little idea of, of something cute to do for your bathroom um, some people also do these with uh, the kitchen too they um, put their little sponges and brushes and all that in there. So, um, you know, so that, that, that's what I'm going to do with mine for now. Shea Bear has a video of putting them shelves up. Yes, he does. He has a, Shea Bear has a video of putting the shelves up. So, if you, you can watch. Like that. Yeah, if you want floating shelves. I love my shelves. This is, was a good idea for the bathroom. So anyways, that's it for now. I uh, hope you enjoyed my video. And I got many more coming up. So keep watching. And please subscribe. And put any comments down on the bottom that you'd like me to do. Got an idea for a craft maybe. Uh, I can try, try to do it. Okay. Um, so I'm going to say monkeys up for now. And y'all have a good week. Bye.